Good day, you absolute legends. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Cursed Expedition and the update in general. We're going to do a quick review about it. Did it live up to the hype and expectations? Now, these are all my own personal views about it. But before we do get into today's video and how I feel about it, can I just ask, as always, just to double check that you are indeed still subscribed to the channel. You need to resubscribe. Please do resubscribe. Or if you have been watching me for a while and you like what I do, then why not consider hitting that subscribe button? You're definitely will not regret it. Anyway, we have a lot to cover today, so let's get right on into today's video. Alright, so let's talk about the mechanics and the way that the new expedition works because I feel like the team have really outdone themselves here. It's a new concept where you have to keep on like recharging like the void juice and you have like obviously different jars of, of this substance that all does like different things and if you don't recharge then you start like seeing the void and then the whole like sky starts to like flicker and next thing you know you're getting visited by these boundary like alien looking things i think that was an absolute gem of an expedition i really did enjoy that part and it shows that hello games is innovating and looking at different avenues different aspects on where to take no man's sky because no man's sky for the last few expeditions in my opinion has been somewhat similar i mean we did have obviously the aquarius expedition as well which did bring fishing into no man's sky but this was something different something more unique than that this was a completely different take on the whole like no man's sky genre as a whole and i really do hope as well that these like boundary alien things do make the way into the full game and it's not just an expedition only uh, npc i hope that they all do bring over and you can actually find these in the wild depending on what planets that you visit and so on and we do know that obviously with leaks and things like that we are getting like purple like systems that we can go and visit now so i hope in those systems we do get those very specialized npcs and you do have to then start topping up that that meter otherwise you will see these boundary failures happen in actual game i hope that all transfers through and i think that hello games are definitely onto something with this so i hope that's where they do continue now next thing i want to talk about is the rewards from the expedition itself because i feel like we're definitely in good this time around now the new millennium falcon ship the falcon mini i mean I've, I've seen it being called a lot of things online but basically that ship ladies and gentlemen is definitely my all-time favorite ship that has ever come out on an expedition i mean don't get me wrong other ships have definitely come out and they have looked good but for me this ship is just so so much better than the rest and that's my own personal feeling about it i love the way it looks i love the way it flies i definitely love that you have like you know three trails of it coming off the back and yeah it's a millennium falcon i mean how, what, what's not to like it's absolutely incredible and i've been using it every single opportunity i have been able to to get it and use it and yeah absolutely amazing really love what the team has done here and again i really do wish that the team would keep on innovating like this now if i do have to give one small piece of you know constructive criticism here about it is that it's just one stop color it, it's one of those where i really do wish that we could personalize it just a little bit more so what do i mean by that just by even just changing the color of the shape would be amazing i wish we could do that so maybe that's something for a future update maybe i don't know depends on what the team want to do with that particular ship but just being able just to color color it just a little bit you know add our own unique flair to it that would be amazing too but overall the ship loving it now the cthulhu helmet one of my favorite helmets of the past few expeditions and it's one that i'm currently wearing in game right now absolutely love it now i know when you go to the parents modify it's called like spooky helmet or just something random and generic like that however in the game files when i've had a look into this it's actually called the cthulhu head which is absolutely incredible so you can definitely tell where you took inspiration from amazing it looks spooky spooky season halloween it's one of my most favorite times of year anyway i love halloween so this is definitely a helmet i am rocking for the very foreseeable future again i think the team have done an absolute fantastic job here and i wouldn't change anything in particular about it it is a cthulhu head and it looks amazing so there's not really much more i can say past that other than i really like it i really enjoy the cthulhu theme 
it's cool. Now, they have added other, like, smaller things into the game, such as the new jetpack trails. Again, absolutely loving the new jetpack trails. I love, like, the purple theme. When you fire it off, it looks kind of weird and funky. It, it, it's, it's a new jetpack trail. It, it's awesome. Now, it's not my most favorite jetpack trail. Don't get me wrong. For me, that's the, the fusion one, and I really do like that. However, I, you know, I also like this, and it's just more variety, and the team keep on adding more and more things like this for the appearance modifier. Fire, again, taking the game to new heights, letting you customize your character the way that you want to customize it. It's only ever going to be a good thing whenever they add more options like this, which again is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I, I also dig the jetpack trails. I really do like the purple theme. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the length of the expedition. It's only lasting for two weeks, which I kind of find a little weird because normally, as we know, it normally lasts anywhere from four to six weeks. So it's severely short in compared to really any other expedition that we've had previously. So that's a little bit of, uh, I wonder what it is that the team are, are doing. Why is it only lasting two weeks? Because we know whenever an expedition ends, another one must take its place. So what is the team cooking? What, what are they thinking? Because what comes after this? Now, my own personal thoughts about this is that it's probably going to be an expedition redux for the entire year. So I don't think even though it says it's over in two weeks, I feel like it's also going to be bundled in if they do a redux. I think it's going to be bundled in with that. So then it'll last us over the Christmas and New Year festive periods. So you'll be able to play that, the Aquarius expedition and, and so on, you know, World's Part 1 expedition and, and just all the expeditions that have happened this year, you'll be able to play again in the Redux and that's what I feel like the team will probably end up doing because it's not the first time that we've, that we've heard of a Redux, the team have done it last year and it's always like an end of year thing that they do. So the fact that it's, that they, it's only two weeks and then it ends just going off of patterns that we've seen before. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about that one. Do you think we're gonna get a redux this year? Do you think that's why it's only two two weeks long and then it's gonna be obviously then extended for a further four to six weeks? Do you feel like that's what's gonna happen? Again, let me know your thoughts, comment section down below. You know what to do. Now, I need to give credit where credit is due for this expedition because in previous expeditions, you and I all know that they always use the same sort of recipe with them. So they always use the same sort of fetch quests, whether it's going to go ahead and scan 50 rocks or scan 50 trees, 50 animals, or, you know, in the recent one with the Aquarius one, because it was more centered around fishing, was going to go ahead and catch 150 different types of fish. But this time around, I feel like it was a lot more balanced. They wouldn't as many fetch quests. There was a lot more unique quests in there to go ahead and attempt and i feel that was a nice change and it really did balance the expedition out as a whole and in my personal opinion this expedition is probably one of the best ones they've put out because of that very reason it wasn't as repetitive they they really did balance everything out quite nicely and i really did enjoy myself this time around i could even go for round two or round three of this expedition and even try and like you know speed run it even like i really did enjoy this expedition that much so again let me know in the comment section what you thought about the balance of it do you agree with my findings that it was a lot more balanced this time around or do you feel like it was still a little bit more repetitive again let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below so overall ladies and gentlemen i give the cursed update a solid eight out of ten i mean that that's an easy give there because it is a very decent overall well balanced update with a really good expedition thrown in you, there's not really too much to dislike about it personally unless you're not into the whole theme of it which again is completely understandable not everyone is going to dig the vibes and i feel like this update really does cap off the end of the update cycle for this year 2024 for norman sky has been the biggest and best year the game has ever had especially with worlds part one it was an amazing update and obviously we had the aquarius one which brought fishing into the game and so on we've had so many good updates this year that norman sky is finishing strong for 2024 and going into 2025 as strong and the best the game has ever been and i can't wait to see what the team is cooking up next obviously we are expecting in 2025 now world's part two which i'm sure is gonna blow everyone's socks off it's gonna be amazing and i'm all here for that i'm here for the ride and i'm just gonna be enjoying this journey watching the team develop this game even further as we go into next year but yeah overall solid update ncaa perfectly. 
But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the update in general. Do you agree with anything I've said today? Do you disagree with everything I've said today? What are your own personal thoughts and feelings about the entire update as a whole? And how do you feel like it's ended off the 2024 season of Norman Sky? Do you like how the game has progressed through this year? Just let me know everything that you thought about Norman Sky this year as a whole as well. Comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. But that's everything for me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.